Alright guys, for my next how-to video, um, <clears throat> I got some questions on my last video about how, what to do with the gym, because people noticed that I had big shoulders, and they assumed the rest of me was big, I suppose, and I thought, <laughs> you're right. Anyways, um, so I have some tips, some tips at the gym, okay? First off, you need you need to walk in. You, please, please do not wear pants unless they're sweatpants. Do not wear a collared shirt unless it's a workout collar shirt. If it has buttons on it and you're buttoning it up, probably shouldn't wear it to the gym. Okay. But with all that being said, your body doesn't know what kind of clothes you're wearing, so screw it. You can wear pants. Well, 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 you could wear a suit to the gym. That's fine. Anyways, <clears throat> so you need to go in. And there's been a lot of talk in, in the fitness community that you need to warm up and all that. <sighs> Not really true. I'm sorry, but the latest studies have shown that it is much better to just go to the gym and put whatever your one rep max is and just and just wrap it, just wrap it once, okay. That'll get your muscles plenty warm because it's obviously hard for you to do because it's your one rep max, okay. And then from there, then you're like, all right, I'm warmed up. So I guess you do warm up. You just don't warm up the traditional way. So usually people are like, oh, zero to sixty, you know, gotta gotta get there. But it's better to start at a hundred and get down to sixty. Cause what what do you think's faster to go to go from slow to fast or from really fast to fast? So I definitely need to think about that one. Um, but anyway, so after you do that, chuck on your one right max. You, so you're, you're warmed up now, and you go and you find the biggest dude there, okay? And whatever he's lifting, you just do 20 pounds more than him. Just, just as a sign of dominance, right? He's, he's doing squat, he has two plates on the thing and you're like, screw it. I'm gonna go to the squat rack next to him, put three plates on, and while I'm squatting, I'm gonna look at him the whole time so that he knows, he knows who the real gym rat is. Or should I say gym bear, because you're showing that you're bigger than him uh, in strength, even though he might be physically bigger than you. Um, so that's a way of asserting dominance at the gym, you know, getting your testosterone flowing because he might not be too happy with you uh, doing that. But you're like, hey man, why don't you just lift more weight? <laughs> so, uh, the cardio machines, I don't, even, I don't even know why I'm mentioning cardio machines. I don't even know what they're doing in a gym, first off. Um, only fat people are on them. So they obviously must not work. I don't know if anyone put two and two together there. Um, and if you do see a fit person on there, it's because they just want to try it out. They're just like experimenting, you know. They're they're on the weight side of the gym. They're like, oh, what what are why are those fat people on those machines? So. So they go and try it out and they're like, oh, okay, obviously this is pointless because I'm not even going anywhere and my legs are moving. It literally makes no sense. <sighs> yeah. So, um, something I can, I can recommend is swimming. Swimming is nice. Um, not with the old people, that's not swimming. That's just playing in the pool. It's a very different, something you do with your kids. Um, and old people apparently uh, but you call it fitness okay anyways so you go go to the pool 
But what you need to do, okay, is screw the breaststroke, too easy. We're here to get gains, not, not have fun. Um, unless it's dominating everyone else, and that's fun. So, anyway, you get in the, get in the pool, strip off all your clothes. Not all of it, sorry. Make sure you're wearing the least amount of fabric you can because you you if you're gonna be swimming you want to swim fast okay you don't want to get in the pool and the, oh man I'm like the beached whale that forgot how to swim and now I'm back in the water and my flippers can't work good because I've been on the beach for so long okay no if you want to be like a freaking torpedo and the more clothes you have the the worse off you are so. Yeah, so wear less clothes. And then you need to swim like a freaking shark is chasing you. Okay? Like you are in the Amazon River. And for whatever reason, all the piranhas are on, you know, right behind you. There's, there's none in front of you. Because at that point, might as well stop swimming. You're going to die. Um, there's hope. You know, there's hope here. And... You just gotta get to the other side. You just gotta get to the other side so that you don't freaking die, okay? Do you know how much faster you're gonna be swimming? A lot faster, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yep. And then, as soon as you get to the other side, somehow the prawns just flip to the other side. You're like, holy crap, I need to kick off of this thing really fast or else I'm gonna get eaten alive. You know, even imagine them like biting at your foot. Like, oh, oh crap. Okay, uh, and you do that for about a mile, which is I think 40 laps in a 25 meter pool. I might be wrong on that. Either way, just do 40 laps, and a lap is just down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, people will think you're freaking the second Michael Phelps because they've never seen somebody swim so fast. And you're gonna just, it's just gonna, <laughs> your body, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's you being sculpted. I would imagine sculpt, sculpturing is not a very pretty sound. Um, like all the chinking. But the finished product though. <laughs> so, anyway, these are my advices, advices, my advice, this is my gym advice. I hope next time I see you guys, your your YouTube picture is you looking buff, buff as nuts, walnuts. Thank you. T TK Money out. <laughs>